Diane and Dave, like you, la la la, it is Friday, let me just put my pom-poms down, uh, and we are back from our two-week uh, summer holiday in Japan. Now, I told you at the, the beginning of the month, my daughter, my DD17, dear daughter 17, she was in Japan for three weeks um, studying Japanese language and culture, and then we went over um, to meet up with her when she was finished, and we had a, a two-week family vacation there. And we had such a fantastic time. I mean, you know, I've mentioned this before. I've been to Japan twice before, uh, both times Tokyo. And this time we ventured a bit further. We went to Kyoto. We went to Kinosaki Onsen Town, which is fabulous. Uh, went to Hiroshima. And then we're back to Tokyo for a few days. So, so we, we really saw a, a lot. And I've managed to film quite a lot but I, I, I wouldn't go into that today. Uh, I'll, I'll try and um, get some, some videos up over the, the course of the next couple of weeks because there was just so much to see and so much fascinating stuff. The weather was hot. We, we knew it was going to be hot. It's not, it's not really the, the time of uh, year to visit Japan but you know it was circumstances and my daughter was there. Uh, <clears throat> we decided to go for it but it was up to 30 degrees Celsius which is almost 100 Fahrenheit. So we, we took it slowly, we had lots of um, water, salt and we survived, but it was a bit more slow paced than our previous visits to Japan. Anyway, on with what I want to get on with uh, today. I, I hope you're all uh, fine and well enjoying uh, what we have left of summer, or maybe you're already into winter in, in the southern hemisphere. Uh, we came back from our holidays and, and I was you know, I, I love going travelling, but I also love coming back into my day-to-day -day routines, my weekly routines, you've heard all before. Uh, so I jumped right back in with my routines. Um, the laundry is up to date. I've got the last load of laundry going out this morning. We've had torrential rain here in, in Copenhagen uh, yesterday, thunder and lightning, but it seems to be okay today. I, I don't know if you can see, I've already got the parasols up. Uh, but I'll be putting my last load of laundry out and that will be me up to date after the holidays. Uh, suitcases are all unpacked, things are put away. Uh, and I'll be coming to that in a wee minute. And also with regards to my um, general routines, you know, fly lady routines, I've been doing my morning routine, my evening routine, sink it shined. Um, and when we came back, I, I decided, you know, I had already been keeping up with my weekly home blessing hour, but I just took my control journal, I, I checked off, you know, you know, which zone are we in, we're in kitchen zone this week, zone two, two. Um, and I've done uh, vacuuming, vacuumed in, in that, and remember when, when you're doing your weekly home blessing hour, it's not the whole house, it's just the main traffic areas. Uh, I vacuumed and I did uh, the living room, the hall, um, the downstairs bathroom here and the kitchen. That takes me less than 10 minutes. I've done the vacuuming, I did uh, dusting, uh, the kids took out any uh, rubbish, trash, recycling that we had, so that's done. I went through the mail that had come in when we were away for the two weeks. That's been dealt with. Most of the stuff was just, um, uh, you know, some odd flyers and things which have gone straight into paper recycling. Uh, and what else? Oh, I mopped. I mopped the uh, tiled areas here and the other thing was, oh yeah, change sheets, normally I change sheets on a Saturday and Sunday, you'll see me doing that on Instagram. So that I'll probably do tomorrow. Uh, and the last thing from, from the weekly home blessing our list was, you know, that bit of shiny mirrors and doors. I do that in the zone, so I'll probably do that today here in the kitchen. We've got the, the two main windows, uh, the glass door. Um, at, at, out to the garden and I've also got um, mirror squares on the end of the um, of the fridge and I'll probably do that just before I prep dinner today so I'm kind of done and dusted um, and up to date with my weekly home blessing hour and otherwise uh, things are just taking over as normal but what I did want to check in with you today let me just put this away um, you, you know when, when I, I go travelling um, I, I like to you know, get a little souvenir or two from a trip, but I like to make it clutter-free souvenirs. And I want to share with you today what I brought back from our trip to Japan. And also the, the other thing, you know, when, when I'm uh, traveling, I get really inspired um, just looking at, uh, for example, in Japan, uh, looking at the way the ladies wear their clothes, tie scarves, 
uh, how things are organised and you know when you eat in a restaurant how things are, the, how the table is set, uh, the flowers that they use. I, I get so inspired. So, so when I come back from holidays, not, not only do I have my little suitcase with a few souvenirs, I also have a head full of ideas. So I'll be, I'll be kind of uh, sharing those with you as, as we go in towards the um, to the autumn. But anyway, on, on with to what I want to show you today, which is the clutter free souvenirs that I brought back. Now, you all know by now that one of my favourite clutter free souvenirs whenever we go a trip are tea towels. Now, I love tea towels because they're a practical thing. I, I get to see them when, you know, I'm, I'm uh, closing down the kitchen at night. And so we reminder and then I get to use it. And then once it's stained and whatever, you know, I cut it up and use it for rags and it's done with. You know, it's not a little knick-knack or one of those things you know, like you get in holiday places made of shells that's got the name of the place and it kind of collects dust. I like things which are practical. And case in point, there's one from uh, last year that we got in Greece that, that a lot of you thought was a picture of the TARDIS. Um, this is my wee Greek tea towel. I actually put that on it yesterday. So I want to show you what, what I got uh, in the way of souvenirs. So we're going to start off with the tea towel. And this one uh, is from, uh, and I bought it when we were in Kinosaki Onsen Town. Now Kinosaki Onsen Town was the highlight of the trip for me. It's um, a, a small town which has thermal springs and we stayed in a traditional um, uh, Japanese inn, a ryokan, where you know you have the tatami mats and you're sleeping on the mattress on the floor and uh, there are no chairs and table you know they've got the, you sit on the floor uh, with cushions and a special kind of shell of a chair but you're sitting so that that was fantastic and they uh, gave you a yukata to wear you know uh, like the cotton uh, kimono and you would walk around the town everybody was walking around the town uh, dressed in their yukatas and you got a, a pass so you could try all the different spas of the town. There were seven of them, and I managed to do all seven of them in the two days that were there. Anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be sharing video about Kinosaki Onsen Town. So anyway, my, my tea towel I bought in Kinosaki Onsen Town. Here we are. You'll see it in a, in a video, me, me choosing it. And I'll just open this up. And you can see this is actually the town, Kinosaki Onsen Town. And I'm going to love using this as a, a tea towel. There we go. And let me see, this is a map of the town. Uh, and it, it's, a, it's a, there's a, um, a, a river runs through it. And we were staying in an honest, uh, in, a, um, in a ryokan, which was actually just off the main street. Let me see if I can locate it here. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, here we are. Uh, and the place where we stayed was about here. So this is going to be a fabulous um, souvenir for me. And also, it, it looks like it's an um, Dressing Your Truth Type 1 colour. So I'm really pleased with that. And the other thing I got for myself, so pop that there. Uh, the other thing I got for myself, whenever we went to um, restaurants, a lot of the restaurants, they have these... Uh, coasters. Now you can see it's beautiful Japanese cloth and it's reversible and uh, because you know the drinks were so very very chilled or, or um, you know warm uh, green tea and they used these on the tables you know beautiful wooden tables and then they had these on. So I bought one of these for me and this is the one that I've chosen and because you know I like to bring back something for my besties, Vibeke and Helena. I also bought the same thing for them, so I'll just show you. Vibeke and Helena look away. Don't, you know, go, go out of the room and I'll tell you when it's safe to come back. Uh, I got the same for them and I also bought them each of them um, a, a pen just because it's always useful. Now, can you guess who this one is for? This is for Helena who has uh, cats and um, sausage dogs. So I got that one for her with the wee cats on it and um, a pen. You just see the nice uh, lady in her kimono. And the one for Vibica, I, I went for these colours. I thought Vibica would like this one, a bit more muted. She, uh, Vibica is a, is a type two in the dressing of truth system. So I got her this one with the kind of muted pink on the back. So, so I hope they'll enjoy those. I'm actually meeting up with Vibica and Helena today for the first time in uh, two weeks. We'll all be together again. So I'm looking forward to that. And then, just pop those to the side. Uh, a couple of other things that I got for myself. 
we were traveling around Japan uh, and we had the Japan Real Pass. It's a, it's a thing that you can get, you have to organize it before you get to Japan. You get really um, cheap real travel. You pay a set fee and you can use the railways as much as you like. And one of the other highlights for me was being on the bullet train, you know, the Japanese trains which go at uh, 300 kilometers per hour. I can't remember what it is in miles per hour, but you, you can ask Google or Siri, say, what is 300 kilometers in miles? And it'll tell you speak. Uh, anyway, I, I loved uh, traveling on the um, on the trains there. And also when, when you go on the Shinkansen, the bullet trains, at the station, you buy a special bento box lunch that there'll be a video about a video coming about those because that was just fantastic. The, the, the food was wonderful. Anyway, what I decided to buy for myself as a wee reminder of going to Shinkansen was a pen. And uh, this is actually a Hello Kitty pen because some of the bullet trains are actually um, uh, kind of dressed up with, with Hello Kitty stuff. So here we are. Here's the pen and you can see it's shaped like the Shinkansen train and, and I took this one because you know Hello Kitty Japan there we are and there's my, my, my pen <gasps> so that, that was a bit of a, a silly gift but uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy using that and it's a, it's a good reminder of the Shinkansen uh, and then we were in Hiroshima and um, there'll also be probably a video coming about Hiroshima and, and I choose I, I chose the, the crane um, and uh, if, if you, uh, and you, you can go and look up about Hiroshima and, and the peace uh, movement and the cranes, but I decided to get myself uh, a little reminder there. So I've taken a keychain and I've taken one with the white uh, folded crane because we saw a lot of uh, folded origami cranes at the Children's Peace uh, Monument. And so that, 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 that's going to be a nice reminder of that. And then the last thing that I got, uh, the Japanese, they all have beautiful skin um, and we had seen, I had seen this shop everywhere, I wasn't sure what it was, let me just see if I can remember the name of it, um, Yo Yijia um, and we went in and it was all um, face products and I decided to go for these, I've had these before many years ago, if I just open it up, uh, they're, they're not very expensive, it's a little book and it has these papers, uh, you've probably seen the oil blotting ones before, uh, but these ones have a slight powder on it and just like using a powder compact. And this one has got a slight pink tinge to it. I, I spoke to the lady in the shop and she, she thought it would be best for me. And then what you do is when you're kind of out and about, you can take one of these out and just see. And it just gives you a lovely, <laughs> there we are. And I'm looking very uh, soft and <laughs> it just gives you a lovely um, sheer look uh, and, and that was really useful because when we we're walking around it was like 38 degrees Celsius. Uh, I, I was not looking uh, very calm and uh, cool at all. So anyway, I'm, I'm pleased with those. And then of course, the food in Japan, you know, I love Asian food. We, we ate so many good meals and we also went, when we were in Kyoto, we went to Nishiki Market. Nishiki Market is like a covered um, couple of uh, streets where you can go in and taste things and there are restaurants and there's cooking equipment and there's fresh uh, produce. Uh, and, and again, I'll, I'll try and put a little video together about it. And, and we tasted some uh, different uh, spice mixes and we, we thought this one was absolutely fabulous. So we, we, bought, we bought some of it and, and I'm going to uh, transfer this into a jar in order to, to keep it fresh. Uh, and we discovered that it was a, a spice mix that we had actually been looking for here in Denmark. Uh, I've mentioned that the kids have, have loved using this book um, by Jennifer Joyce, My Asian Kitchen. And this one um, was in, in one of our favourite recipes uh, that my son likes to make. Uh, the spicy tantamen, uh, tantamen spicy miso chicken ramen. We, we love this recipe. We have made it again and again and again. And one of the things I had said was to sprinkle with uh, furikake spice mix. Now we had looked for it here, couldn't find it. And lo and behold, what we bought, this is furikake spice mix. So, so that was fun. And it's actually mentioned in the ingredients at the end of the book. Uh, 
and, and this is the wee leaflet that we got with it at Nishiki Market. Now, um, Furukake Spice Mix, it is a mix of, um, there's fish flakes in it, um, seaweed, sesame seeds, chilli, dried egg. So it, sound, it sounds kind of weird, but it's a really, really good mix. And uh, we actually had it in a couple of restaurants in uh, when we were in Tokyo and had sprinkled it over a kind of chilled uh, cucumber salad and it tasted fantastic so so that was really good the other thing when we are well, one of the first things we do when we get to Tokyo is we go and have ramen at um, a chain called Ichiran and they um, sprinkle a kind of special spice their special spice on their special soup then so so we decided to buy this it was 200 yen and again if you don't know how much yen is worth uh, compared to the euro just google it it'll come it'll come straight up so we're, we're looking forward to trying that and the other thing uh, hold on oh yeah hold on a minute okay here we are uh, this is another foodie thing uh, one of the other things that we saw at the nishiki food market in um, kyoto it was quite close to where our hotel was was that we were looking for chopsticks because we, we use chopsticks a lot and we, we don't want to keep using those um, you know the throwaway ones we want something a bit more green and we we found a place that had beautiful chopsticks and one of the places you could get your names engraved for free now i won't show you them all because it's got the kids uh, names on it but i can show you they're, they're all different patterns here's one here and i'll show you show you mine these are mine and we got our names engraved on it, both in um, uh, our names in uh, as usual, and then in um, what do you call it, katana, in in Japanese, one of the Japanese um, signs. So those are the and and because there were uh, five sets of chopsticks, we decided to get one for each of us with our names on it. And the last one we got. We say, it says uh, guest. Can you see that there? I don't know if it'll come up. Guest. So we know that if we have a, a guest for dinner, they can get the, the this extra set of chops. So that that was a really fun thing to bring back. And we actually used them last night when we were eating dinner. Uh, and the last thing, oh, I tell you what, yeah. Uh, one of the things, it's not something that I buy as a souvenir, but when, for example, uh, last time we were in Japan, when, when you go into some of the shrines and temples, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get l little um, entrance cards, like, you know, you buy your ticket to, to go in. And this is one that I got last time from a shrine at Ueno Park, which I'm still using as a bookmark. And this time I've got one from a shrine, I think this was one in Kyoto if I remember rightly. I, I, I need to use Google Translate. Do you know Google Translate has an app that you can actually uh, take a photograph uh, or, or do it live when you're reading a, a menu and, and translate from uh, Japanese or Chinese. So that, that was really, So I'll, I'll have a look at that. I'm going to use that one as a bookmark because you know love uh, reading. And this one was from the place where I got the uh, beauty products. I'm going to use that as a bookmark. Uh, this was one from uh, Hiroshima and this was one, oh this is one of my, my fortunes that I got, one of my favourite places is Sensoji in Tokyo and we went back there this time and, and this was my fortune, now this was a good fortune that I got so I kept it, if you get a bad fortune you, you tie it up and you let the wind blow away the kind of the, the bad stuff, anyway th this was a good one so I'm going to hold on to that and my husband when he's on holiday and vacation, one of the things that he loves is books. I mean, you've seen in, in our uh, living room and in the dining room, we have so many books. They're not mine. I, I, I read books and then hand them on or take them back to the library. My husband loves books. That's his thing. And often when we're on vacation, he'll find some books. So here's, here's a couple of the ones that he found. A uh, Penguin Book of Japanese Short Stories. I've actually read a couple of the authors in this one. And the other one, he had actually been wanting to buy this. It's called Tokyo Ueno Station. And we were staying at Ueno, um, beside Ueno Station, at the end of our trip. And he thought it would be fun to buy in a bookstore at Ueno Station. 
uh, but they actually didn't have it, so he ended up buying it in Shibuya, I think. But in, anyway, uh, so, so he brought back some books and I think some other ones. Um, so anyway, a, a little bit of inspiration for you, hopefully. When you're on holiday, it doesn't have to be, you know, the, the big uh, straw hat or, or the weird uh, souvenirs made out of uh, stones stuck together and shells. You know, it, it can be something that you're, you're going to use it and then use it up and then, you know, or give it away. So it doesn't, it doesn't need to be a, a cluster souvenir that you come back with. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to get on uh, with hanging up my last load of laundry. I will be checking in with you next week. I'm, I'm looking forward to um, getting back into my normal routine of posting videos. My kids, they are off school for another, about another 10 days. The uh, junior schools and primary schools, they go back to school within the next couple of days. Um, high school, is they have a bit longer. So I wouldn't kind of be back into regular schedule until they go back uh, to, to high school. But I'm going to be redoing my uh, routines a bit and also how I've set up my diary and my control journal. But I, I shall be uh, walking you through. So hopefully if you need some inspiration, about getting back into things for the new term um, you, where we can do that together uh, and otherwise over the weekend I'm looking forward to getting back into running and because I haven't done a run since we went to Tokyo we did a lot of walking and I didn't take my Fitbit with me uh, which I'm glad about because I actually had to take off my watch it, it, was, it was so it was so hot there um, but I know because on my telephone it actually counts steps and I was averaging something like 15,000 to 18,000 steps per day. But I'm looking forward to getting back into running. It's a lot cooler here than it was in Tokyo, so, that, so that'll be nice. But uh, anyway, I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Uh, Friday in Fly Lady Land, if you're doing the Fly Lady uh, system, is fill up your car with petrol, have a wee look, see if there's any junk that needs removed from there. Uh, I'll be checking my bike tires and my bike basket. I'm, I'm cycling down for a swim with Vibek and Helena um, uh, before dinner today. And uh, the other thing on Fridays is, oh, tidy out your, your handbag, tidy out your swimming bag. Uh, maybe you need to actually locate the, the kids' um, school bags if they're going back to school soon. You know, have a wee look in there. Uh, maybe there's a packed lunch box that, that got forgotten about in the month of June. And, might be worth it taking a wee look. Also their um, gym kit, if they're going back to gym, have their feet grown like about 10 sizes and, and they need uh, new gym shoes, you know, all, all those kind of things. You just don't, don't go overboard with things. You just uh, start thinking about these things. Uh, and the other thing is it is a date night uh, or do something nice for yourself if you're a single person. Uh, and I will be making up the family's um, basket of snacks I've, you've seen that in many videos before. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to get my um, clutter-free souvenirs put away. I hope you have a fabulous Friday and I shall see you on Instagram over the weekend um, and back with some videos next week. I, I actually posted some videos when I was away, I had which I prepared in advance. So if you uh, if you missed those, you can go back and take a week look. Uh, because what did it, there was one on keeping up with your routines during the holidays, you know, if you got into that summer slump. Uh, I did um, a declutter of uh, footwear and I'm going to be doing a lot of decluttering of um, jewellery and clothes in the next couple of weeks. And what was the other one? Oh, my, my trip to uh, Sweden with Vibeke and Helena. Uh, I posted that and there was one other one. can't remember. Anyway, it, it's all there on YouTube. <laughs> Thank goodness when we've got a lot to remember, it's all kind of written down somewhere. So anyway, I hope you have a fantastic Friday uh, and I shall see you when I see you. Okay, live long and prosper. May the Danish and uh, Japanese huga be with you uh, and I shall see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.